Epi Import. This video I am um, showing how to use Epi Import software. It's really good software to to do lot of uh, creations, functions, uh, and it's a uh, very easy to use this software so first of all you have to uh, create a make view or create a uh, question area make view or question area that is the first thing you have to go make view button first you have to go make view button and then go file and go new now this window open we can this project save in your computer so i save this project is as demo i save uh, on the desktop then open this then uh, after open there is a window coming like that so uh, it is uh, the name of the view that's a name that is, uh, before I say it, it is a project name but this is not a project name this is view name this is I think uh, bio data bio data then ok now we can show the this uh, grid grid area all over the grid area so now you can create a question area or view so first of all you have to uh, create a question area click in the right click so you go files uh, there is no uh, things then press you have question area First, you have to go to question area, then right click in the, the, the area that can grids can be seen. Then you have to type there what is the question or problem. It's also bio data. You can uh, prompt or prompt, you can change the prompt. This, this area you go, you go to that button so now you can change the front name the type of front and the it's regular oblique bold bold Big there is a sample, there is no sample, size and bold. Then you can change the front size. I think it's I select uh, 24. And in scripts, it's I do questions. Then mm, now you can show the front, show me the front. Then uh, select the front inside your computer. Also, this is the front that uh, that are present in my computers. So you can you can also change the front using this basic. Because they know this is changing your 
font size like then click ok so that is only uh, that is only a label not rest it's label we have to select this as a label and ok then ok now you have label only label there is nothing nothing to do okay. then also if you want to create anything you can right click then this is also test I think uh, it's name first of all you have to name name it name that is I select as a test okay then you can the change size of the test mean uh, yeah can indicate inside the test what how much words how much words, uh, can be included I think it's 30 only 30 then you can change the prompt like that I think uh, no, I am not selecting 10 okay. 